Hey there, future generations. I want to start by saying sorry. We, the current generation, are deeply sorry for leaving you with a planet in such a mess. We were too caught up in our own lives to take action, and we regret that. We listened to people who made excuses instead of doing something. Please find it in your hearts to forgive us. We didn't fully grasp how precious and remarkable our Earth was until it was too late, like a relationship that fell apart. Take the Amazon, for instance. You might know it as a desert now, but it used to be called the Amazon Rainforest, a place teeming with billions of magnificent trees. Trees are truly amazing. They supply the air we breathe, cleanse our pollution, and act as gardens of our water sources. They even offer medicinal properties, feeding us and curing our ailments. It pains me to admit that we have been burning and cutting them down with alarming speed, destroying 50% of the world's trees in the past century. Why? For what purpose? It's a devastating loss, and I wish it wasn't so dishearteningly frequent to see more mere leafy pictures left in their wake. I remember reading stories from my childhood about Native Americans and their deep respect for the land. They understand the responsibility of leaving a thriving environment for the next seven generations. It saddens me to witness how little regard we have for the future today. Our focus seems to be on profit, greed, and material gain, disregarding the well-being of people and the principles of compassion. We treat nature as an unlimited credit card, overdrawing on the lives of animals, pushing them to extinction and robbing you of the opportunity to experience their incredible uniqueness and form connections with them. We have even polluted the oceans to the point where swimming in them has become dangerous. I'm truly sorry for our destructive mindset. But here's the thing. I'm not here to dwell on negativity or wallow in remorse. I believe in the power of change and hope for a better future. Let's redirect our energy, just like a farmer who looks at the roots to heal an ailing tree. We, as the foundation of this generation, have the responsibility to care for our planet. It's our only home. Together, we can warm our hearts with global awareness and transform the climate of our souls. Remember, we are not separate from nature. We are an integral part of it. Betraying nature means betraying ourselves. But by saving nature, we save ourselves. This applies to all the causes we fight for. Equality, justice, and a harmonious world. However, none of that matters if we don't unite to preserve our environment. Without that, we all face the risk of extinction. Let me take a moment to share a personal reflection. Recently, I spent time in Africa, the heart of the continent and witnessed the devastating destruction of rainforests. It inspired me to write the script and spread the message. Destruction like this is happening worldwide, but don't despair. We, as ordinary people, have the power to make a difference. By standing up for trees, we not only save their lives, but also protect forest communities and the rights of animals to thrive in their natural habitats. Additionally, this effort contributes to reducing our own pollution footprint, making us part of the solution rather than the problem. If you think climate change is just a myth, I challenge you to open your eyes and witness the real-life consequences faced by thousands of homeless people in Bangladesh. While you comfortably shelter in your homes, these individuals have lost everything as rising sea levels wash away their homes. And to those who claim to love the smell of fossil fuels, take a moment to hear the stories of the children in Beijing who are forced to wear pollution masks just to attend school. Ignoring the truth won't make it disappear, my friends. Denial may be an option, but it won't change the reality we face. To the future generations, I apologize for the mess we've made of our planet. Our actions turned our once vibrant Earth into a sinkhole rather than a flourishing garden. We focus on issues like terrorism while neglecting the alarming rate at which the Arctic ice is melting. We've let you down and I'm so sorry. 
we couldn't secure another habitable planet in time. But let me be clear. I'm not sorry for speaking up and taking a stand against the destruction of a cause. I refuse to accept this future because mistakes only become irreversible when we refuse to correct them. So how can we turn things around? Let me share a powerful analogy. Imagine a farmer who notices an unhealthy tree. Rather than examining its branches, the wise farmer looks at the root. Similarly, we must shift our focus from the branches of government and the politicians influenced by corporations. We are the root, the foundation of change. This responsibility falls on our generation to safeguard our only home, this beautiful planet. Let's warm our hearts globally, bringing about a shift in our soul's climate. Let's recognize that we are not separate from nature. We are an integral part of it. To harm nature is to harm ourselves, but by saving nature, we save our own existence. Whether we fight for racial equality, poverty, elevation, feminism, or LGBTQ plus rights, these battles won't matter if we fail to unite and protect our environment. Remember, if we don't come together, we risk equal extinction. Let's embrace this change, my friends, with unwavering determination. Together, we can make a difference and build a sustainable future. The choices we make today will echo through time, resonating with generations yet to come. It's time to take action and pave the way for a better tomorrow.